I'm your baritone bro host, Godful, and you're listening to Dad Stoke, the podcast where we talk about dope things. Whether it's nerdy stuff from video games, anime, movie, TV, board games, whatever, to cool events that are happening in the area, having great interviews with great people, and whatever other dope things that are in the world or that you might suggest, we talk about here, and you know it's going to be a great time. So join us for the show. I have Josh right here, you know, and I have a very special <laughs> guest. I've been wanting to have on the podcast for a long time, Slotin right here. What's good, fam? Yeah, right? <laughs> yes, 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 what's racist, right? <laughs> so today, I've been wanting to talk about video games that I'm super excited for. Like, it's it's near fall, uh, 2015, and there are a ton of video games that are coming out that I'm just super excited about. And... You know, the guys here are super excited about that too and actually like even like in a week from where we first record this Metal Gear Solid 5 is coming out oh man and, you know oh, man. I've been like so oh. excited about that I built a whole computer just for <laughs> <laughs> I mean like I was about to buy a PS4 for Yo, it, I'm, but... I'm with you yeah. The PS4 swag. I'm getting that. Oh, I mean, well, you pay me my money first, and then. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is actually the first game I pre ordered. And then also, there's a ton of other games that are coming out this fall. You know, we got to talk about it. You know, we want to hear what you guys oh, yeah. think. But first, we're going to put our piece first. So, because Metal Gear Solid 5 is coming out first, let's talk about that. I was going to pre order this thing anyway. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, you know what? I want to move on. I want, to, I want some PC graphics on this. Uh-huh. So I started building it, and I found a graphics card. That literally came with the game. Are you serious? Oh, sorry. wow. The game came with the graphics card. Oh, wow. Did you do it on purpose? or? No, that, that was like, I was building everything. I was looking at different parts. I ended up on fucking like, Newegg. Uh-huh. And it said, Metal Gear Solid Five included with purchase. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to buy this anyway, so yes. Uh-huh. Like, I didn't even have to think twice about it. Uh-huh. Like, That's yes. amazing. That's I got it on my Steam right now. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, even before the game has officially dropped. I'm just waiting. I'm Dang. so, oh my goodness. So much weight on that game, dude. I know. You heard about that game, what? Uh, how long ago did we hear about it? Maybe two years ago? I don't know. I feel like it was about two years ago. Yeah. When first showed off the Yeah, like I think like an E3. Yeah. Like, oh. No, like, it, was, it was like with the, like he was inside the hospital. The, yeah, yeah, the trailer. And yeah. showed his little hook hair. Yeah, right? Yeah. And I was like, what the heck? And this was like back when like Kojima's like fake company. like. Oh, he built whale. that whole like whale thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah uh-huh. He came out with the bandages on Yeah, his right, head. yeah. He, he, he set up a whole company to try and fuck with it. <laughs> yeah, right? Like it, it was, it was like as if like it was like a whole new company was doing this like in Sweden or something like that oh my god yeah and, and like you can't trust that man for no, yeah right no, and like this was before so like it was even like Metal Gear Solid 5 it was just like Phantom Pain or something like that or, no, 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 yeah I remember yeah, that was it called he, I, he named it something, something and then, else, like yeah. wouldn't say it was Metal Gear yeah. and then he left like dents in the name and mm-hmm. some shit and yeah, people were like right. oh look yeah look. and there was like clues clues man and Eventually, it was like, no, you're solid. Blah, 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 blah. Dur, 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 right. I mean, we all still jizz our pants, right? It was oh, just like, oh, it was coming out, right? We knew it was Metal Gear, but yeah, right? we finally said it. Exactly. Like, you're right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. well, okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that, right? So, that happened. And then, <laughs> then it started showing off things, and then Ground Zeroes came out, right? Oh, Ground yeah. Zeroes was dope. I still play that, honestly. You should definitely hop on it. A lot of people shit on it because, mm-hmm. you know, they, they thought it was... So small, yeah. Two and hour if you, demo. If you, well, not even like some people can. If you tried super hard, you can beat it in like what did they say, like fifteen? Oh yeah, 30 yeah, minutes? yeah, seven minutes. Oh, I like speed run, yeah. Uh-huh. Which you can absolutely. If you want to speed run a game, like you can beat it in a short time. But mm-hmm. if you want to find every fucking thing in that game, uh-huh. no man. Time. But was it worth thirty dollars though? Yeah, because I'm saying like speed run it and beat it in seven minutes. Yeah, like not even the smallest game. Seven minutes is fast. I don't think anything should be beaten in seven minutes. Mm-hmm. Like, it seems like they put a lot of work into something. Mm-hmm. Which, which I understand. You know, like you want to get your money's worth, but. If you're just speedrunning, if you're literally just trying to get from start to finish, that's up to you, man. Like, if you want right, to spend your money right. on exactly, it, exactly. For me, True. if I, p- I spend any money on a game, I'm gonna get every dollar I yeah. got out of it. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm for step program mentality. Right. We make every one of our exactly. games last. That's, I, that's why I platinum games. Yes, because like exactly. I didn't, I wouldn't even get games. Yeah, you, yeah. you remember when we were kids and you always have, everyone had that one friend. That one kid, you'd go to his house and he'd be like, I got like he'd have like a shelf full of games. Mm-hmm. Yes. He'd be like, Hey, man, did you play this kid? He'd be like, Nah, I haven't touched that. It just didn't make sense to you. Like your mind was blank. You yeah, have right. games that you haven't played. You're right. Oh, I didn't have that kind of money. You're right. <laughs> like, any game. The first game I got was Resident Evil, and I played that and didn't even understand it. And I was like, I want to find everything. <laughs> and then I got Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Oh man, that game. Is and intense. I because those were the only two games I had. I beat that thing over and over and over. That's why he's so good. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's why we call him Gray Fox, by the way, because, like, he, yeah, right? Because, honestly, like, I would play in Metal Gear Solid 1 through 4 with this dude. And he was the guy who was showing us how it was done, you know, like, extreme mode, like, oh, you know, you just gotta go to the back. 
and knock that guy out, judo chop, and <laughs> oh, you just gotta throw grenades in the tank. Oh, no big deal, right? And it's like that's what we'll, back to what you're saying about like you know affording games. That's why I didn't buy Ground Zeroes because this is like I'm not gonna buy thirty dollars game thirty dollars for like a, a level, you know? Yeah. Like if I'm buy thirty dollars for a thing, you better make me cry. That's yeah, sensitive, man. He likes to feel. Oh my god, I don't cry that often. No, but if you do want to play it, if mm -hmm. you do want to get your money's worth, you can. Mm -hmm. Like there's enough content in there if you want to explore, find mm -hmm. all the like hidden secrets they left in there. Mm -hmm. If you want to just kill everyone in mm -hmm. that base, you can. Mm -hmm. Like you can get your money's worth. For me, it's not like a ten dollar type of deal. I agree. Yeah. Steam Maybe twenty. I definitely agree. Yeah, 30? Yeah. Like better, uh, yeah. Like mm -hmm. Medium for that. Then again, knowing Kojima, I was thinking like maybe if you bought that, then like if you get another, if you get Span of Pain, that'd be like $30. I don't feel like maybe they'll add some. I, I haven't yeah, looked into it. Something. They did anything that collaborates with both of them. Yeah. That'd be neat. That'd be really neat, yeah. actually. That'd be really nice. So then now with, with Metal Gear Solid 5, you mm -hmm. know, like we even played Peace Walker for that, right? Mm -hmm. And like just trying to get like the whole story. You know, like I even watch stories with Josh. You know, just be like, "Oh yeah, who, who is Big Boss?" You that know, was like, a good day. Yeah, it was, was a Kalachis and thirty-minute video of Metal Gear Solid. Bro, we were like old hens. We were, just, <laughs> we were just like down in the basement. We were in my right. old like, my old place. Relationship goals, like, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Honestly, but like that was a good time. Honestly, a lot of people shit on the Metal Gear series because it's it so does, convoluted. Yeah, yeah, it has all the weird plot lines. Exactly. But, exactly. Some people even went as far as calling Kojima like a sexist and shit because they think you know having women clad and in tight outfits like the beasts in four. Oh well like yeah they, they were like oh you know he's just mm -hmm. doing it for looks but th th i mean they're warrior women snake has a sneaking suit no one's right. ever going to comment on his glutes you're right <laughs> <laughs> you see that you see him all old man, on the ground, right? like yeah. shaking his ass when you do that little <laughs> slow move like ain't no one gonna say nothing about mm, how's that setting an example for our young <laughs> <laughs> like ah oh, you're using beautiful women and like that's sexist you know it's just like it, it is. That, that it stuff is. happens. It does. I mean... I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've seen any ugly women, but... There's still a lot of ugly dudes in that game either, though. What, Psycho Mantis? <laughs> That's the one you can say it looks karate one and you graphics, that one. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> All the dudes look kind of hideous. And then technically, one. technically, like, in this new one, the, I guess the bad guy's supposed to be Skullface or something like that? Oh, yeah. So, he's an ugly dude, right? It's... Okay. Is Skullface big boss? No. You sure? Maybe you know. because because I saw a progression thing online. Where oh, like, I saw yeah, you yeah, saw, yeah. You saw, did you see the latest trailer? Yeah, yeah, the latest trailer. Mm -hmm. like, is, is it? Either way, I'm excited to learn. Uh -huh, I'm exactly. excited to find out. It does make me wonder like what this new game's gonna be about. You know, like is this about the downfall of Big Boss? I've, I've looked into it and I want to know more about it, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I don't want to give anything yeah, away story for myself. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the same thing like I did for four. One thing I'm super excited for is Metal Gear Online come back. You know, that's something I'm super excited about, like, to see, like, this new online aspect, especially now with, like, this sort of updated. And then also, you know, Mother, mother Base. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. you get to build all that up yeah. and everything. Yeah, and, like, I couldn't help myself. I was reading reviews, and I was just like, oh, my God. I was no, like, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I read two reviews, and I'm just like... Air strikes. You're right. Oh, oh, my gosh. Like, it's going to be so it, good. It's, I'm excited to see what it has in store. It's going to be so good. Oh, like, yeah. I'm so excited. So let's move on to, I guess, like, another game, since, you know, you heard us gush too much about this game, right? Speaking of Kojima... So do you know what PT was? Okay, so here, here's my what I what I took from PT. Mm -hmm. PT, I've shown it to so many of my friends. Um, I haven't seen anything of PT. PT is terrible. Mm -hmm. I have it real quick. So okay. okay, first off, these dudes are so good at being cerebral, like being inside your head. Mm -hmm. It's not jump scares. Five Nights at Freddy, no disrespect to it, but you, have you noticed that when you play Five Nights at Freddy, it's scary in its own right, the jump scares, but the story behind it is what mm -hmm. gets kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what that's what they're really good at doing. The producers of these games, like they're really good at being psychological with you, mm -hmm. and Fair. instead of yeah, instead of one jump scare. You're gonna get 40 minutes of just uneasy tension of you being scared shitless for 40 minutes. <laughs> and then when it does come to kill you, uh -huh. you know what's there, and that's when you're really, that's when the terrifying, like, you will jump back, or be like, yeah, let me turn these lights on real fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what happened was, from what we knew, mm -hmm. PT uh, was the Silent Hill game coming out, and then it, it PT, got. PT literally was playable teaser. Uh, exactly. Yeah, okay. that's what I was wondering what you PT. And it was like, they had um, the dude from. Uh, Walking Dead, Daryl, oh, yeah. Norman Reedus. Norman uh -huh. Reedus was the main protagonist. Well, I mean, from what we heard, that it got closed down and he wasn't going to be there anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he commented on that. It got, it got, all of them commented on it. I, I still have my own thoughts about what ha what's happening there. But <laughs> exactly. So no, PT came no. out, it was their teaser for Silent Hills. People didn't understand that it was the teaser for Silent Hills because to get the ending, to get that phone call that says you've been selected or whatever the fuck it did, mm -hmm. you had to go through such bullshit <laughs> to it even get to that. Yeah, to walk insane. ten steps, stop. Listen to the baby cry. Find the woman. She in the mirror? Nah. She in the radio? Like, 
who the fuck knows? And then you have to do all this weird shit. Do you have to call out to her? I don't know. Maybe. I remember a point where you had to, like, the door was opened a little bit, and you have to, like, peer into the door, mm-hmm. when the door doesn't close, and if the door doesn't close, you can't get to the next area. Yeah, it's, it's just all sorts of, like, weird shit that you had to do to even get to the end to realize that that was, a ta- like, a and trailer for Silent Hill. That, that's, that's what I'm wondering, is, like, how would you even know to do that stuff? Like, that, I'm surprised that people found out about that. The internet. Yeah. They help each other out. Like everyone's yeah. like, "Hey, I did this," yeah. and then everyone starts moving slowly towards the. Yeah. But how did anyone? Uh, well, then again, I guess. But a, how, how do you come to the conclusion that, that there you is walk something? Ten steps, stop, and listen to a baby. And now eleven steps, right? I don't know. That's honestly. And it's like I guess I mean that's science, I guess, right there, right? <laughs> it, I don't know. It was it like I don't know how they discovered it, but like I, I tried the things myself. Mm-hmm. And I remember me and my buddy spent like a day or two, just like we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it, and, like. It just wasn't coming to us, and eventually we started reading all these different ways, uh-huh. and they have like three possible ways to reach the endings <laughs> now, and like Jeez. they're still not really confirmed. <laughs> so, uh, break it down for me though. Like, what happened with this Alice Road? Because I've also been showing my friends. I like okay. I did at the party. Okay. Mm-hmm. I showed everyone Alice Road. I love that. So, I love it. So what is it? PT? Was the playable teaser for Silent Hills? Mm-hmm. Konami Kojima got into whatever the fuck happened with them, mm-hmm. and they canceled PT. So PT and, or well, they pulled PT from the store and they canceled Silent Hills as a project. So, like, mm-hmm. no one was really sure what was happening. Someone leaked something. Mm-hmm. But then, was it Guillermo del Toro confirmed it was canceled? And then Norman Reedus was like, oh, no, we're not working on it anymore. And Konami was like, we're shutting it down. You're looking on their wiki. Uh, you can look on their wiki and it still says, like, canceled. I don't believe it's truly canceled because yeah. he created a whole other fucking company. Yeah. I, I still think there's some weird thing going on there. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't put it past Kojima to just be fucking with all of us. Yeah, right. Yeah, that makes like, so much sense. Me- Metal Gear 2 was uh-huh. literally all about just fucking with his fans. Don't uh-huh believe what you read on the internet mm-hmm. was like the message exactly. I would say yeah. of your solid too. Yeah. So as far as that being truly cancelled up in the air, yeah. I don't think it is. I think Kojima's being weird. Mm-hmm. I did have an idea. I think I talked to you about it specifically, about maybe the PT thing is just gonna be combined with the Allison Road and the, the, the same game. And that's, so what is Allison Road? So Allison way? Road is made by a whole new company. It's a fan made, like it's a whole different thing. It's what was it, Lilith L T D Lilith Lilith Inc. Some company was started in like November or something last oh, wow. year, okay. but they're the ones that are now creating this. Have they done anything else? As far as I've seen, no. Oh wow! Which is again, uh-huh. like I, uh-huh. I don't know them. I haven't looked into them a yeah, lot. Yeah. Uh-huh. But if they just started recently mm-hmm. and that's the only thing they're going on, I still think it's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, that sounds like Kojima to me. Uh-huh. Oh, a new company comes out of nowhere. Yeah, right. Working on this game and that game looked amazing. It didn't look like no startup game. Mm-hmm. That game looked. Like, the graphics were amazing. Oh, yeah. You amazing. have to have people who know what they're it, it, doing. It looked like the Fox Engine. Yep. Yeah. Dude, looked, are you feeling the same? Kind of like, you have to know what you're doing to build, build a game like that. Uh-huh. And it was so P- it was so PT reminiscent. Yeah. It was so close to the same game. I was like... But, but the thing was, like, because PT kept you in that same, like, hallway, that same pattern that you kept following... Like, that's why people are like, it's not the same. It's not because Allison Road actually took you outside and you were exploring, you know, the whole mm-hmm. other aspect But of you it. were, like, outside the backyard. Yeah. It was a one-person apartment, and you were in the house, which was either the bathroom, the, the bedroom, uh, the hallway, which is connected to the kitchen, mm-hmm. or the outside backyard. That yeah. was it. Like, you were kind of moving back and forth, finding clues in there. Yeah. I feel like, but the thing is, it was a lot more voiced. Uh, and PT, remember, like you were talking about earlier, yeah. you were saying that it was like you would be confused where to go next. Mm-hmm. The character actually speaks to you. It's almost like they took a hit from that, and mm-hmm. they were like, he was like, oh, I need an aspirin. You go find the aspirin. And I just need some water to down this with. You go find the water, turn the water on. He's like, I need to take a piss. Mm-hmm. You go to the bathroom, and then things are being unleashed as things are happening. <laughs> it's a lot more voice. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's literally a hint. Either the, the startup company, the startup company, <laughs> I'm doing air quotes if y'all can see <laughs> <laughs> The startup company. <laughs> Uh, is either taking hints from the internet, <laughs> I'm sorry, or it's uh, or Kojima himself is kind of picking up I, on these things. Mm. And see, I th- like hearing you guys talk about it doesn't really sound like a scary game, you know? It's just like, oh, give me aspirin, bro. Right? No, let me tell you, let me explain. <laughs> I'm like, tell, tell let, me this, let me break right? this down for you. Uh-huh. Since you didn't even play PT, I know. Right? I have a friend. I have a friend. Uh, <laughs> I have a friend. Last night, I had a friend, uh, Sylvia. She was over watching it with me. She she gave out a yelp. She yelped. Like, it was weird. It scared me because at the end of like, she was terrified. Uh, I was at a party with, like, how many people were there? We were there. There was, like, 15 people just, there. No. 15 people. people. There was a lot of people. Justin, like, I have a friend named Justin talking all the time, trying to make it not scary for everybody. Broad daylight. Everyone still jumped back mm-hmm. at the end of that trailer. I watched it by myself. Or I watched it with, like, two of my friends first. When I first watched it, uh-huh. two of my friends. One of them was going to be a cop. 
So he's gonna see some crazy stuff all the time. This man was hiding under the covers, and I was like, "You being, you being a bitch, you being whatever." I jumped and almost hit the wall in the back of the house. Like, yo, that stuff. If you're if you're trying to be into it, like uh-huh. you can mess it around and like talk all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And you can make it less scary. But if you want to be experienced, uh-huh. if you want to feel it, uh-huh. then just be quiet and watch it. Turn the lights off. Chill. Okay. Alice so in the road. It's because they. Like he said earlier, they don't focus on the jump scares. Like what PT did was it wanted that sense of terror, that dread. Like you know something's gonna come, so you're making up all these scenarios in your head. You're like, like oh, this is gonna jump mm-hmm. out here. It's gonna jump here. They start playing that music, the haunting music, uh-huh. and you're like, when is it gonna hit me? Like uh-huh. when the fuck is this thing gonna pop out? <laughs> 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 and it doesn't. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. And no, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Uh, they break down like this. Like you've had nightmares. We've all had nightmares before. It's not a bad dream. You've had a nightmare where you wake up and you think you're awake. You walk into the hallway, and something's not right. You're like, hold on. This doesn't seem like what it's supposed to be anymore. And you're walking through this hallway, and you know something's about to happen. But you're just not sure where it's coming from. And things are looking a little strange to you. Things are starting to look out of place. And that's the type of thing that you're getting. So really, you're, you're feeling that. That sense of terror, like something is going to get you, but you're not sure what. When, where, how. Oh, what's going on? Uh-huh. You have no idea. What, what is the monster? What is it? Like, uh-huh. what, what are we looking at? Uh-huh. They like they'll show you hints of creepy shit, but you won't see it again. So you're just sitting there wondering where did Crap. it go? When's uh, it gonna hop out? And you'll hear music, you'll hear these sounds scratching and all this that, shit. There was a part in that trailer. Remember when he he came out of the bathroom and it was it was standing behind the bathroom door. He walked out the bathroom, looked to his left. That thing was standing right there behind the bathroom door. He jumped back in the bathroom, closed it, and it was gone. All the lights are flickering. It was gone, but it came back from later, and it, it's just like. It, it, it fucks with you, dude. I gotta see it. Okay. No, you, you will. You'll understand once you, once you see okay. it. Okay. Y'all haven't seen it. Y'all haven't seen the trailer. Yeah. Allison Road. Yeah, I'll, I'll post it. Watch with your friends. Yeah, post, Get some popcorn. I'll post it underneath. Yeah, the, yeah the bring some friends. All right. And that's what Allison wrote. And Alice, that's what they're about. And it just makes it amazing. Like, in, like I guess, like, as a quick aside, I, like, I want to talk about it. So, like, apparently, like, Kojima and Kon- Konami split up. Like, they're like, ah, oh, you can't be on the name of... Metal Gear Solid Five anymore or something like that, right? Whoa! Yeah, yeah and like dude. it's like you're at you're fired, you know. And it's like and that, that fired, seems yeah. too quick. Exactly. Like I don't know what he did to piss them off. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he did to like anger the Konami gods, but <laughs> they literally like, scorched everything he was about. You're like mm-hmm. your name's not on this. You're not part of us. As soon as you're done with this, leave. Like, mm-hmm. You don't even get to finish. Mm-hmm. I was like, he's the guy who brought you guys all this fame and fortune in the first I don't, place. Like, I don't, I'm gonna be real. What did Konami do besides this? Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time? Like, uh, I think that was them. Uh, and then, like, what uh, else did they do? Shinobi? Uh, Ain't no one playing Shinobi anymore. Well, you know Konami what I mean? was, was pretty big. But Metal Gear is do? a big series for it. And, like, they have other titles under their name. But Met- I feel like Metal Gear was Metal Gear was yeah. That's their Mario. Like, you, you don't find yeah, that Mario. Kojima. Way, yeah. yeah, but, like, yeah. I mean, like, honestly, like, every... Konami thing I felt was Kojima I thought it was Kojima yeah. <laughs> a lot of people I was like honestly like, I was like what there's a difference mm-hmm. and yeah so and definitely it just seems too abrupt to me like it's just like how what and then also yeah as you we were saying like Konami uh, Kojima likes to mess with us yeah I mean his games mess with us he's a fucking troll dude exactly he's a troll exactly I like trust, I, don't I don't trust, trust exactly right <laughs> like, you don't trust the troll like you know like it's like oh my mom died uh, Kojima. Yeah. And then you know, like I'm still expecting, you know, to go to the funeral, and then Kojima someone to jump out. Yeah, right? <laughs> 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 just kidding. <laughs> that wasn't funny, man. But we <laughs> sort of. <laughs> six. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo. Right. And I wouldn't put it past him too, you know. So, this one, like I know, this is the one that like we all even want to talk about. You guys, okay. I, I just want to bring you. Let me set the stage first, all right? All right, E3, 2015. All right. <laughs> Sunday night, Bethesda comes out. You know, they're showing Doom. And then they, you know, they, they open up the, the last thing in the night. Yeah. Fallout 4. And, you know, they're showing all this great say stuff. It, say it again. Say it slow, guys. Fallout 4. Another one. Ooh, another one. Fallout 4. Ugh. <laughs> and the best thing, like, you know, like, they showed so much. You've probably seen the memes on the internet, you know, like McMahon. Yeah, McMahon, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. McMahon. yeah like, that's exactly how you feel. But the best part of it all, it's supposed to be coming out October. October this year. Oh wow, November 10th. Okay, sorry, sorry. November, November still this year. 
I can't believe that. I can't, I can't. So, I'm so let's talk about why we're excited for this game. Like, honestly, like, that was, I think that was the thing I want. Where, where do we start? All right, man? exactly. Where do we start? Like, even if you were just like a fan of Fallout, yeah. whatever, 234 New Vegas, mm -hmm. that there's just so much. So much. So think, first of all, let me set the stage, all right? Fallout 3 came out how many years? Like, four or five Fallout years ago? Fallout 3 is when it got that. taken out by Bethesda. Up. That was 2000. I was. 2000. Nine. Ten. <laughs> so let me but say, yeah. So while while you guys are looking at up, like Fallout Three comes out, you know, I never played any Fallout One, Two. I was like Three, whatever. You know, I get it. You get the game, and you know, you make your character. It's like, oh, this is cool. It looks nice. You know, stop right there. Let's talk about that character. Right? Right? Okay. Right. I was gonna okay, let so you this... finish, but right. fuck, man, right. let's talk about this. <laughs> Hey, right. I'm gonna let you finish. Right. Right. But right. Fallout 4 got the best customization <laughs> of all right. time. Right. I'm so excited for okay. that shit. Okay, let's just go, no. back. let's go to the future, right? Uh, Fallout 3 was dope. New Vegas was awesome. And then now, just looking at it, Fallout 4. Progression. Progression wise, like you said, Fallout mm -hmm. 3 was amazing. Mm -hmm. Fallout New Vegas added so much to the story. It was buggy as fuck, though. Yeah. That's no, why I didn't still love it. That's why I didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Fallout 4? That okay okay so we could take we could say one possibly negative thing which would be like the the main character from what we've seen has a voice now yeah oh so my god how you feel about that it could be it could it could take you out of the game as you put in yourself because like with Zelda games they make you feel like you're the character mm -hmm. like because he doesn't talk mm -hmm. all, that was all kind the of follow dude all the side exactly the do. exactly mm -hmm. now the protagonist talks. We don't know if that's just for the trailer or not, but he was talking good, a good no, deal. No, they said they said that that he has like about a thousand words, you know. Yeah, that, yeah. Like Telling the dog to go Even places, just names yeah. and stuff. Now here's the thing, um, that does make it seem more along the lines of Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mass Effect still made you feel very much in tune with those exactly. characters. Exactly, exactly. Like I like that he can talk you know first of all like just the amount of features you know like you choose your parents you know like oh my mom looked like this my dad looked like this you know actually, that they, 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 I actually looked into I, I remember when I told y'all studying mm -hmm. <laughs> it might not be your parents the baby's gonna come back in the game later mm -hmm. you're gonna be the man that's gonna be your wife most likely yep. the baby's gonna be a combination of both of those the baby will come back in the game later because remember the fallout happens and you wake up yep. I thought you were I thought Nope, you create your characters, and then y'all have you a create kid. those two people. You yeah, the baby will. I, I assume this means like your son will come to help you fight uh, alongside your son. Like it's gonna be so dope. Dope. on top of the customization for the for the characters customization. They're talking about like a lot more than any other game I've seen. Mm -hmm. I'm talking like pulling the nose out. I'm talking pulling like cheekbones out. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they went crazy into it, and now we we have this thing where it's like. Uh, there's also the concept of building the homes. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you can that build was a whole awesome. little uh -huh. society. But here's Wait, the thing. Let's get let's get to all of that. <laughs> yeah right. Yeah right. Wait, remember all the, remember on the other Fallout games, you pick up teacups. Like, yeah, useless balls. crap. And it was like useless just weigh you down. Yeah. What was this for? Except for shooting off the fat man later. Yeah right. Like, let me put no, this teacup no, no, in that. Oh, yeah, not the fat man. There's yeah there's rocket a rocket launcher or whatever. Oh it's called. yeah, rocket. You just mm -hmm. shoot whatever you want out of it. Everything. Yeah. But that didn't make sense. Then again, yeah, you got bare weapons. Who who cares? I love that. Exactly. Okay, I never got it. I was just like I had. Well, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So what this game is doing now is like. You can build a whole society, mm -hmm. but you because this is the wasteland, the whole concept of Fallout, the reason I love this uh, post-apocalyptic like feel so much is because it makes you have to survive. Mm -hmm. yes. So mm -hmm. where are you gonna where are you gonna get your light bulbs from? How are you gonna build that lamp out there mm -hmm. for your, your people? The people I that you have in your settlement? That. Mm -hmm. You gotta go find that light bulbs. We're gonna go to a different settlement, take the light bulbs out, put it in your inventory. Oh, five light bulbs, take those out, put them in your inventory. I need some barbed wire. All, this all. fence, start take start peeling the fence. Put it together. You're right. Now you have these tires. All the exactly. shit you ever picked up. Yeah, right. All the stuff that you know how people pick up stuff in games like think Skyrim. Mm -hmm. You pick up all that useless stuff, yeah. cabbages, the cheese, fork, and you just drop it off somewhere. Yeah, right. All this stuff can be useful. It actually now. matters. That's why I'm so all excited. Of this. And then also like you have like a tower defense type of deal. Like I like that idea. Yo, I mean, I, I, I was iffy about it, but uh, the more I keep thinking about mm -hmm. it, I'm like, I, I know it I'm makes make sense. that thing so overpowered. Oh yeah, mm. like it's like Minecraft. It looks like mine like Minecraft, but like. With real stuff. I wouldn't say Minecraft, but it does look fucking mm -hmm. dope. I mean, like, you can customize your thing to, like, do whatever, I guess, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. And the guns are the same way now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The guns are uh, heavily customized. Uh, heavily. And here's the thing. Uh, with the tower defense thing, which is very Minecraft-esque, mm -hmm. Minecraft mm -hmm. uh, they were talking about how it wasn't going to be a, a primary point of the game to where you had to do it. Mm -hmm. There's going to be things that did pertain to it in the game. Yeah. But if you didn't really want to mess with it, you didn't have to. You could skip those things along. That's, that's, but you're not going to get the payoff. Yeah, that's, that's the, the whole thing. thing about Fallout in general. 
in the, in all the games, you couldn't you can avoid everything mm-hmm. extra. Yeah. All that extra shit, you can literally just run into the wasteland and fucking mm-hmm. start fighting death claws. And that's the yeah. best part. If you have friends that play Fall, I have a great group of guys here. Yo, if you have friends that play Fall, me and my brother even, mm-hmm. we played at different times. We never wanted to watch each other play. Mm-hmm. We always talked about it though. We played different games. Yeah. I swear on everything. Like I was like, you did what? Like yeah. <laughs> you you met a super mutant who did what? Yeah, man, that's like one of my good friends. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I was like, I, like, I went and trained these marines up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I trained some marines up, and now we're about to go take over this base. He's like, you you train those marines? Like I hate those marines. We're about to go, <laughs> we're about to go in there and bomb the mess out of them. And then, like this time, it seems like it, it, like it, it has not be like so much storyline, like you know, like Brotherhood Steel. Like oh. I mean, I remember seeing you could shoot them, you know, like in a helicopter. The vertebrates. The, so from, yeah, right. from what we are getting from this game. The automotive stuff is like now back on uh-huh. because in every other game it was always just broken down cars yeah. and automotive things didn't really work. Mm-hmm. Um, except for the, I'm well, sorry, the the they, boomers, the boomers had that plane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they they had automotives and stuff in the game, but you never you got weren't to able to control it. Yeah, exactly. What, what, what part of the game had? I mean, like, like other people have, control like, it. Vertebrates and stuff show yeah. up, and they'd have like everyone else had stuff that they could fly in. Yeah, but you up. wouldn't be able to. Like use the it. Enclave would show up and just drop in. Oh, that's right, the Enclave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The government, because you know the government holding the good stuff. Yeah, you know? I, I remember seeing the trailer, you could Obama. shoot like an Enclave guy, you know? Yeah. Like, I did this... that all the time, I hated the Enclave. Yeah, right? Guys, I fucked with them. Most. A Brotherhood Steel is like the good ones that are like, or the better ones, the right? Good? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, like, are the ones that you mm-hmm. worked with, right? Mm-hmm. That's, here, here's where, here's where, here's where, here's where <laughs> make a good game. Here's how they make a good game. Because with Fable and things like that, no disrespect to these games. Yeah, they were Fable. Fable one was amazing. But led, yeah, I love that game. Yeah, but you, it led your hand. Like it was like you like. Oh, these oh, are the better guys. This the is good clearly guys. the good decision. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right exactly. Right. This is bad. What, what do you want to do? Like, and who, your character will change depending on that. Very obviously. Yeah, oh, right. you did the bad. Look at these fucking horns. You're right, and, you're right. and you're going bald yeah. now because you're bad. Dude. <laughs> I was like, what? I can't be pretty and bad. Like I can't be that guy. Like, <laughs> nah, man. Uh, it was like you, you want this sword. You want to kill your sister. All right. Yeah, it was like these are some sick. Like, what happened to like the the like the like where, where's the the, Where are my the gray? Yeah. <laughs> where's the gray area? Exactly. Fallout, like like God said, like there's the better guys. I maybe because like honestly to me, like I didn't in Fallout New Vegas in Fallout the first one I did team with them. Yeah. Them. In Fallout New Vegas, I didn't. I didn't play New I Vegas. I really messed yet. them at all. Oh. I had a couple guys that like were cool with me. They, they weren't as like prevalent in New Vegas to be fair. Though. They, they were like, in there, but they, they, they were, were but they were not like amazing. Their true colors mm-hmm. came a lot more. Resigned in, mm-hmm. in New Vegas, it was more it was more elaborated on what yeah. they're about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're about reserving technology. Yeah, mm-hmm. they don't really care for people as much. Mm-hmm. People are important, but they're like, eh, technology's more. We'll be important. around. God, yeah. we're here. Oh wow. So people, we're, we're reserving this technology. That's Jeez. what they're about. They will trade you off. And I mean, <laughs> the thing is, like, when it comes to like them compared to a different group of people, depending on who you're comparing them to, yeah. yes, maybe they are the better mm-hmm. of the two, <laughs> the lesser of the two mm-hmm. evils. But like every every group, every person you meet, you're gonna feel like it's real life. Like there always is an ulterior motive. Mm-hmm. There's a reason we're they're doing what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yeah, they're stuck I mean, to their motives. Exactly, and, yeah. and that that in itself, like that's the same reason I love Last of Us. Yeah, I'm about like, to bring up Last of Us. Like you, it, know, I mean, you don't know the end exactly. You're like, but then again, that's life. Whereas like. It's not clear cut, and it's not like, oh, these are obviously the good guys. They're about to do some messed up stuff. Yeah, to me, that's that's just it's amazing, amazing writing. Exactly, that's, great that's writing. perfect. Exactly. So, and I mean, this game, like, it's coming out so soon. We're gonna make our own stories in a little bit. So yeah, excited. right. Oh, like, yeah. And then, so I wish that we had more time, but like, because there's more to say about this. Game. Oh, I mean, yeah. Heck, I mean, so even the, the the mobile game, you know. Oh, but, I'm, I'm, I'm still playing the phone. Yeah. I'm playing the mobile game right now. That, yeah. Right, uh, like three two hundred. Vault dweller. Oh wow! Uh, dang. Still playing the game right now. Dang. Oh, like, I, I, I ain't that far, but I'm, right. I'm playing. So I, I, I got a day one dog. Yeah. iPhone. <laughs> I, I wanted. I wanted it, but I was like, I don't have enough space as, in my phone. As soon as I saw them announce that they were like, it is a released. Right, right now, now right? Yeah, right. right. I was like, nah. Right. Really? Nah, yeah, there it is. You're right. I know, like, <laughs> they were on point. They, I feel I feel like that's what won E3. I mean, that was just a few months ago, and mm-hmm. here's the game about to come out. And I am so... Honestly, like, I'm... I, I'm so excited, but, like, I'm worried. It's like, what's going to happen to me this year? You know, like, this oh, fall. Oh, no, you're... Diff- yeah. I'm, I'm going to... I'm not going to see y'all for a while, right. man. <laughs> but even with... When Fallout 3, when I... Not even when it came out, when uh-huh. I got my hands on it, because I got uh-huh. the Game of the Year edition. Uh, I oh, like, yeah. I need, I need everything. In this uh, game. Uh, uh, I got it. I got it, like, pretty close to, yeah, like... The like, Gotham like, Christmas. Stop. Oh, yeah. I got it during... Yeah, right? I got it during Christmas uh, that year it came out, and I was it, gone. I was... I did yeah. everything. I found... I went to the ship. I found all the secret weapons. I found all the weird little interactions. Uh-huh. We had. I saved 
in front of certain areas just so just I can see the most certain bowl. events uh-huh. in that area. Oh man, this is gonna happen even worse this time, I guess, right? It's, it's gonna. They just added so much more. Like I want to just customize everything. Yeah, right, right. And I want to know. I just want to know everything. <laughs> oh. This this fall, I'm, there might not be any more shows. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> no, but anyways, yeah, there's a lot to that's ex- that we're excited for. Tell us what you're excited for, and you know, tell us if we're missing anything. Of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and uh, definitely stick stay tuned to us. You know, connect with us on. Facebook, Twitter, whatever, and yeah. (laughs) Everyone stay gold, y'all.